So, and now we start the session for ambassadors. I would like to introduce our moderators. Edward Jacobs is a principal associate at the Birnbaum Group, where he worked with the Dr. Michael Birnbaum, world famous um, scholar, author, speaker, and consultant on uh, different projects for the past eight years. Jacob's background in the field of Holocaust was formulated during the 14 years period when he was special assistant to the director of uh, pedagogy at Yed Vashem Shulamit Imber. The Berman Group brings unparalleled expertise in museum exhibition design, memorial concept, historical films, and in developing innovative and unique approaches to the presenting the Jewish ex experience and understanding the nature of the Holocaust, persecution, and genocide. Current projects include Holocaust Memorial Center for the Jews of Macedonia, Exhibition Israel, It's All About the People, the Center for Holocaust Education and Human Dignity, and the Dallas Holocaust Museum Center for Education and Tolerance. So please, Jacob. And our second moderator is Aldis Alex. He's a lawyer, attorney at law, member of the Latvian Collegium of Sworn Advocates. His legal expertise, human rights and defense, and legal assistance in all stages of proceedings in criminal cases. Member of several professional associations, for example, European Criminal Bar Association, Latvian Criminal Bar Association, and Association of the Latvian Lawyers. Areas of his expertise include criminal offenses against the Latvian state and nation. He is an author of publication as well as frequent speaker uh, in conferences and seminars on legal issues, member of the Research Society of the Occupation of Latvia and member of, uh, of um, Junior Chamber International in Latvia. So please, dear moderators, the floor is yours. I guess we'll call up the ambassadors after just some opening remarks, and then we'll call up the, the ambassadors. So you will, you will start with Great. the speech, and then. OK. Um, first of all, I want to thank, once again, there's not enough opportunity to thank our hosts. Rabbi Barkan, just as I said yesterday when I went and saw the kind of activity that's going on here, we see things, we see activity like this all over the world. It's nothing short of miraculous. Um, he is, the man is a tornado of activity. And I urge you all to see what he has succeeded in doing here and to try and impress upon you how, Im I, I don't have to, I'm sure you all realize how important it is and what a singular opportunity we all have to participate in, in what's going on here because if we do not, it won't happen. It will not happen. And the presentation that we just heard is also so, so incredibly and profoundly important because today we live in a world where our children are influenced by the vacuousness of celebrity. And true heroism is something that unfortunately is just not important. We have to make it more important. Thirdly, I want to say something very personal. Um, Rabbi Dr. Yosef Mendelevich, um, just, I, if, there's, if there is a definition of, of heroism and of inspiring influence, it is this man. The personal part of this is for all the years that you were incarcerated. You know, in Jewish tradition, you all, mo all of you I'm sure know, the paradigmatic celebration in Judaism is Passover, where we celebrate and the universal aspects of slavery and freedom from slavery, but going forward to something else that's more, that is more important. It's just not enough to get out. It's important that once you get out, that you are actively involved going forward. At a Pesach, generally at a Pesach Seder, it's, it's customary to have non-Jews. But for all the years that, that Yosef was incarcerated, we had an empty chair with his name on it. So for all those years that you were a guest in our house, it is truly an inspiration 
to be a guest in the house that you began here, which a movement, as he said, which helped American Jewry get past the guilt of passivity during the period of the Holocaust and come together to do something active and important in, in, the, in the assistance in everything that happened regarding Soviet Jewry. I'm sure you'll hear more about this later. There'll be people who'll be speaking about these kinds of things. Ladies and gentlemen, the ambassadors are coming up here to speak. This is how I would like to direct this panel. This is why this is so important today. This is what I'm asking you to do. Commemoration, memorialization, musealization, which is what I'll be speaking about in another hour. All these things are incredibly important. They're important if we deal with them truthfully and honestly. They're important if they're not a panacea or if they're not a mask to hide what's really roiling beneath the surface, particularly in European countries. The United States of America just, just released the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. The State Department Ambassador Kerry just appointed a special ambassador to deal with the issues that are contended with in that report. Anti-Semitism is on the rise. Ladies and gentlemen, we can have people come in here. Real politic is a necessary reality. We ask you to leave it at the door. Talk to us about the, tr the truth and the dilemma behind what's going on in your various countries. Anti-Semitism has spiked. We've all been doing our memorial activities. We've been building our museums. We have our memorial days. We do our commemorative activities. So what's wrong? What's not right about those activities? What aren't we doing and what must we be doing? David Katz will be speaking, I assume, about the lumping together of tragedy. We understand this tremendous tragedy. We don't compare suffering. People suffered, Europe suffered under the communist regime. regime. There's no question about it. Is that the same as the Nazi regime? Is the Holocaust, is all, are all genocides the Holocaust? When, when Yehuda Bauer talks about the Holocaust as unprecedented, unprecedented, that's not a comparative suffering. What that means is, is that there's a uniqueness there that we are required to transmit to our students. If we do not transmit that uniqueness and then make the comparisons, we are lost. If all we do is have vacuous commemoration days, we've done nothing, it doesn't work. Ambassadors, we invite you up here. Please address us as best as you can. We understand how difficult these issues are. What's really going on in your countries? What are the dilemmas that you're dealing with? How you hope to deal with them and to entrench education. Anti-Semitism leads to xenophobia, leads to destruction. It is the paradigm of the Holocaust that produced the notion of genocide. When Raphael Lemkin coined that term in hopes that the very invention of a word would prevent the activity the, the, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by Rene Kassin and Eleanor Roosevelt from the ashes of Auschwitz. These are paradigms. Those paradigms must be taught. And then the comparisons may be made. We invite the ambassadors up to make their addresses. Thank you very much. Thank you.